In this video, I'm gonna talk about 20 uses for magic eraser. Now, I'm not talking about scuff marks on the walls and permanent marker on the table, we already know that. And I've gone over that in my previous magic eraser video too. I'm gonna to talk about uses that are much less well-known but equally as ingenious. But first, welcome to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. We love to share all our cleaning tips and hacks. And if you're new here, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future cleaning ideas. I want you to be aware that magic erasers might look like sponges, but they are nothing like sponges at all. Sponges absorb and soak up messes. Magic erasers are made of melamine foam. Melamine has been used for decades for insulation and soundproofing material, but one genius decided that melamine had a much higher purpose in life than to insulate, and that is that it's very, very good at cleaning surfaces. Why? Well, because it acts as an abrasive cleaner, mechanically removing dirt, scum, grease buildup, and much, much more. So let's dive into 20 uses of magic eraser. Be sure to watch till the end though, because at the end, I'm gonna tell you the things that you should not use magic eraser on, and in fact, could damage surfaces. So make sure to check that out. But for now, let's dive in. Last quick tip before we dive in, cut these little babies up into small pieces. After use, they do break down and get grimy. So if you use a whole sponge for a small job, there might be a lot of life in it, but you won't want to use it because it gets kind of gross. Get the most out of each sponge by using small pieces at a time. Here we go. Number one, kids, they are messy. And I know because I have four, and I haven't met a single kid in this world that doesn't make messes. It's cool though, we know how to handle these messes safely and effectively, right? So number one is kids' toys. All kinds, dolls, music makers, bouncers, it works great. Number two, washing machines. If you don't think you need to wash that thing that washes your clothes, well, you do. It can build up a layer of detergent, fabric softener, and dirt that can make your washer drum look really dirty. But check this out. Number three, curling irons. Years of buildup of hair products on curling irons or straighteners can make it look not only gross, but also makes it a little sticky. Watch how well this cleans it up. Number four, the fridge. Don't use it on the stainless steel, but the inside of the fridge is fair game. And it works so well that it can even get marks off that nothing else will. Not to mention all the spills and splatters that always seem to hide inside the fridge. Number five, shower curtains. You know that pinkish orange slime that gets on your shower curtains? It's actually a buildup of bacteria called biofilm and it's resistant to regular chemical cleaners. But with Magic Eraser, you can mechanically remove this bacteria better than any antibacterial spray. Number six, grout. I feel like I have a weekly battle with my grout and I have a lot of it in my house and I have tried everything. One thing that does work well, you guessed it, magic eraser. Number seven, that sticky, greasy film on your oven top and your range hood. It's actually aerosolized grease mixed in with dirt that settles on your surface, on and around your stove. I hate it so much, and I've demonstrated several ways to easily clean it up, but one of my favorite ways, magic eraser. Number eight, tape residue. Anything that leaves behind a sticky glue, magic eraser will clean up well. Check out this cute puzzle. It had some tape over it to keep pieces safe while it was in storage, but now it's got this tape residue on it, but watch how easily it comes off. Number nine, crayons on the wall. My kids are at it again, but this time with crayons. But this gives me an opportunity to shamelessly put a plug in for our channel. Subscribe if you are finding value in this video. Number 10, bugs. That's right, bugs. I'm talking the dead kind that are smashed up against your bumper, headlights, and your rear view mirror. Use a light hand on this one because you can scuff up your paint job if you push too hard. But you actually don't need to push hard at all to get that job done. Number 11, while we are talking about the car, let's talk about how well it works for the car interior. Don't use it on your leather seats if you have them, but scuff marks on the floor or the dirt and grime on the handles come right off. Number 12, couches and chairs. Sometimes you have messes that don't need to be washed off, they just need to be wiped off, and Magic Eraser is great for the job. 
Number 13, rust on tools. This isn't the only way to remove rust, but it is my favorite because it's chemical free. Traditional rust removers are harsh and come with a long list of precautions, but Magic Eraser is safe to use and it works like a charm. Number 14, for added grease cutting power, add a little Dawn Platinum Power Wash, which will help to power through tougher grease messes on the stovetop. Number 15, window seals. Another hack is to measure the distance between the slits on your window seals. Use a knife to cut the slits and wipe the window seals clean. This helps the magic eraser get into all of the tough to reach cracks. Number 16, door hinge dust. I don't know if it has an official name, but I know it's officially difficult to clean. Without the magic eraser, that is. With it though, it is a cinch. Look, here it is so easy that even the cat wants to help. Number 17, outdoor kid stuff. Things like bikes and motor scooters. I mean, just because they are outdoor toys doesn't mean that they have to be dirty outdoor toys, right? With the last three on this list, I wanna talk about Magic Eraser Sheets. If you aren't familiar with these yet, they are the same things as Magic Erasers. They're made of melamine, but they are thinner and bigger. These are more of a one-time use, but useful for bigger cleanups rather than just spot cleaning. Just get them wet, wring them out, and you are good to go. Check this out, number 18. General bathroom cleanup. While I'm not doing a lot of scrubbing, which I wouldn't recommend on a shiny counter, it works well for a quick but efficient wipe down of the counters, sinks, faucets, and even mirrors. You can't do this kind of cleaning with just one paper towel, but with one magic eraser sheet, it covers it all. And when you're done, just throw it away. Number 19, baseboards. And I'm not talking little scuff marks, I mean cleaning the entire baseboards. The one sheet is big enough to handle all kinds of baseboards. And number 20, air vents. Now with air vents, you could use either the regular magic eraser or the magic eraser sheets. Both work well and both make the cleanup so much easier. As promised, I want to talk about where you should not use Magic Eraser. It can cause damage to certain surfaces. It's best if you think of Magic Eraser more like a very fine sandpaper and it can scratch surfaces. It may not be obvious at first, but if you have a shiny surface, it can take the finish off. So don't scrub it on your marble or your granite. And I wouldn't recommend using it on wood with a poly surface or on stainless steel. I would also be careful about using it on anything that has a printed label on it. It can take the label off. If you aren't sure if it will damage your surface or not, I recommend that you test it on an inconspicuous place first to make sure that it won't get damaged. Oh, also, don't use it on your skin. It can cause abrasions. As for the safety of Magic Eraser, I've had a few people mention that it's hazardous and that it's made of embalming fluid. Let me assure you that it does not. People misunderstand the chemical name of formaldehyde. One ingredient in Magic Eraser is called formaldehyde melamine sodium bisulfide copolymer. And because it contains the word formaldehyde, people mistake that for thinking that it has the embalming fluid formaldehyde in it. However, this long chemical ingredient is not formaldehyde and poses no health risks or safety risks. Think of this name like sodium chloride, which is table salt, but sodium by itself can be dangerous. Sodium chloride, which is salt, is totally safe. And it's kind of the same thing when you think of the word formaldehyde versus formaldehyde, melamine, sodium, bisulfite, copolymer. They're not the same thing. And as for me, I like that I'm not inhaling chemicals when I clean with Magic Eraser. You're working with a product that's been studied and found to be non-toxic and poses no health risks or safety concerns. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. Right here, I'm gonna put our video about other uses for Magic Eraser. Click on that video, we'll see you over there.